is an example of a much admired building with a sort of polished concrete uh, or marble and, and smoked glass but I noticed this I think this is more interesting I know I'm pleased to see here uh, that there is also some brickwork let's, let's zoom in on the brickwork uh, that's better another view of the same property opulent imposing entrance to the legal in general but of more interest perhaps is this people enjoying themselves in front of this contemporary building of a stone smoke glass beautifully framed by these bricks that complete the picture I can't believe it this is disgusting covering over all these lovely bricks with silver and pink morning all so i've come to brentford to uh discover these um famous concrete forms which are, are rather interesting in 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 themselves um but of course uh not as interesting as as these these bricks which carry their own special inscription Clever is or puta madre, you little shit, or is that curva is of puta madre, you little shit? Sometimes even bricks let you down. I came to town and this sculpture by Brian Slack commemorating the 30th anniversary of the link between Reading and Dusseldorf had been blown over by Storm Eunice. These two cartwheeling boys took a real tumble. The third boy is in several pieces and his head is missing. Luckily no one was hurt in this incident and the borough council were very swift in their response. This year is the 75th anniversary of the link between Reading and Dusseldorf. Thank you for holding. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Good day. Welcome to British Airways. You're through to the call. How may I assist? I have an artwork which I need to transport to Dusseldorf. Oh. Is that something I could take on board, or would that be seen as a potential weapon? Uh, how big is the um, art? Ordinary size, household brick. Do you mind holding the line while I double check that for you, please? Sure, I'll, I'll go back to the music. I can place you on a silent hold if you like. Uh, no, no, the music's fine, it's, it's relaxing. <laughs> Hi sir, thank you so much for holding. You can put it in the cabin. Is it a painting? It's a brick. Do you mind holding the line? Desist player. Really don't think that there should be a problem with that. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Welcome to Dusseldorf to board through gate A20. Good evening. So I've come to Dusseldorf to deliver this brick signed by the mayor of Dusseldorf's sister city wedding getting this brick through customs and carrying it through the city to the town hall was a feat not mentioned in the labours of Hercules. I stopped by at Clara Maria Sells' gallery. This brick is out, my dear. In the marketplace I met this nice guy who took photos of me. This brick is on. Finally, I put the brick in the hands of the city officials. The brick arrived at the City Hall in Dusseldorf and we're happy to have it as part of our wedding weekend. And then there was a storm. Hello everybody, it's Joey Boyce reporting from Dusseldorf. I come here under the instruction of the Theatre Museum and I'm here for two weeks and I'm going to be based in this little sort of garden house hut thing. My friend here, Klaus, is helping, but there's some problems. Klaus, can you tell us what, what's going on? Yeah, 
we have a lot of screws, we have a lot of wood and we don't know how to handle it. How many screws exactly? Uh, one package was 750, one package was 600 and so on. And we don't have the right bit. Exactly what I'm doing here, I'm not quite sure yet, but I think it will involve bricks and a very very long street sign that reads in English Reading that rhymes with wedding and not the act of comprehending words through the eyes way in German this is Lesen das sich mit Hochzeit rhymed nicht der act Wörter mit den Augen zu verstehen weg. All of this is to celebrate 35 years the official twinning of Dusseldorf with Reading, Haifa and Chemnitz. If you're in Dussel, come visit bring a brick and we'll get it signed. Ah, good evening everybody, it's Joey Boyce. I'm still in Dusseldorf and uh, yeah, the construction of the hut is going well. I've got, I've got a really great team here in Marcel, Klaus and Dennis. I, I didn't think that there were any people in Germany called Dennis, but, but there are. And look, I found a little house in a tree. And, and then the Fliegens, they found me. And look, a small party has gathered. This is what I'm hoping for the coming week, that people will come and they will drink beer and they will bring uh, a sausage or a biscuit or something, or a brick, bring a brick. Das Mittelding muss mit der linken Tür angeschraubt werden. Nein! That means no. Achtung! Measure once. Cut twice. Es steht so da drin. Lass ja. es bitte so machen, wie es da steht. Ja. Es war bisher immer okay. Ja, ja. aber ich habe Fußball ja. gelernt und ich weiß, dass das manchmal nein. nur Sinn macht. Nein, 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 nein. Wir machen das jetzt so, wie das da steht. Punkt. Nein, nein. Doch. <lacht> ja, aber das steht hier ein paar Tage, Wochen, was weiß ich. Ja, das trotzdem. So das macht den Braten jetzt nicht fett, so wenn man ein bisschen was... Das ist so toll, das ist so viel krass für die Ewigkeit zu bauen, obwohl es hier nur ein paar Tage steht. <lacht> This is like a, a very alternative German language course. So. Wir gucken jetzt mal auf die Bedienung. <laughs> Joey Boyce here reporting live from Dusseldorf. Over the weekend, Klaus and team secured the hut in case someone did a poo in there or a family moved in. It says, back off. Later, fellow member of the Reading Dusseldorf Association, Ulia Zinbauers, delivered a brick signed by Mayor David Stevens to accompany the one I brought over, signed by Mayor Rachel Eden. Is it rolling? It's rolling. These bricks are art. A little bit louder, please, Julia. These bricks are art. These bricks are art. Seriously. Bricks symbolize solidarity, the constructive spirit, and themselves. See you later. You know who it is. This morning my mate Klaus took me to this place in Dusseldorf 
that used to be called Reddingestrasse and then it disappeared and is now being rebuilt with a bit of luck to be called Reddingestrasse. I was glad to spot that there were some bricks involved. He then took me to this place to pick up the artwork from our street sign that reads in English Reading that rhymes with wedding and not the act of understanding words through the eyes street. They had some really interesting plans going on with the help of a 3D printer. Back at the theatre museum, my mate Dennis was busy setting up things for Saturday night's opening events. <laughs> the little hut is coming together nicely including a copy of the 12 Hour Foundation's latest LP that includes an elaborate essay written by Julia Zimbauer. A copy of the album was presented to her in front of the Dry Sheban's house. Hello, hello, hello. Who lives in this twee? Why won't you come hither and speak with me? My job as a builder involves cement and bricks. A bit like this tree arranges its sticks. Come to the theatre museum Saturday 4pm. Don't dither nor tarry carpe diem. Oh, look at that. Are you having a good day, Klaus? Yes. Uh, what did you say the title of your work was, Dennis? It's um, the criticism of rail works in USA. Leisen, dass ich mit Hochzeit rein nicht der Erd würde mit den Augen zu verstehen. Straße. In Germany, paper, the size of paper and the size of frames are norm. And he just assumed that everything was regulation. Well, good afternoon. Uh, this whole story has got a bit more complicated. So, yesterday, Julia Zimbauer kindly pointed out that, in fact, this is incorrect. Das Das shouldn't have two S's, it should just have one S. And also, there should be an additional comma after act. But she said, you know what, it doesn't matter because this is an artwork that strikes at the heart of German insecurity. And I said, how so? Is it because this looks a bit like Checkpoint Charlie or something? And she said, no, not even Germans know when to do S's, how many S's, which das is das and which is this and das. And also she said that the slogan has a particularly powerful grip over the German psyche and, and given a slogan there's a tendency to just accept it 
as it is. But I'm reminded of another work that Matt Hulse did, Dummy Jim, and the um, the saying that is associated with that movie is, he who makes no mistakes makes nothing. So I'm happy to live with it. Imperfection is part of perfection. And I know that from building walls. Quite often I will just put a brick at a slightly odd angle so that some pedant can come along and go, hey, that brick's at the wrong angle. And I'll go, I know.